of Angels, Los Angeles, California. Today we've got a week six matchup for you here as it'll be the Arizona Cardinals taking on the Los Angeles Rams. And we are underway on EA Sports. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. this drive out on the ground and he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds that's a start they can live with 15 yards on their first play from scrimmage one play has him to the 37 here for first and 10 they go quickly here out to Moore and a six yard gain gets him right around the 43 Zero hesitation that time. That was get ball, throw ball. Yeah, turn into a smoke route. If you see the coverage off the receiver, doesn't matter whether you call it a run or not. Just take the ball, get it out to it. Looking to throw on second down. Wooten. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's good play. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A gain there of 30 big ones. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Complete to Newsom. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. Pretty solid opening drive here, Charles. They worked in the run game, the pass game, just steadily getting yards, and now they've got it inside the red zone here with an opportunity. And the only thing they don't have so far is points. But the way that they're moving the ball now, that shouldn't take much longer. And they've established a great balance so far, running, passing, doing what they want on offense. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. They'll try to run this one in. Nothing doing there. They're going to wind up holding him at the two. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. Oh, and this one it may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Now we're going to get a stoppage here as we've got an injured Cardinal on the field. Third and goal. This L.A. Rams defense will try to bow up once more. Try to run this one in. And he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two-yard line. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. They'll try and run for it. And this time, he is in. Yes. A great play there. His seventh rushing touchdown of the year. And the Cardinals are on the board first on the road here in L.A. So that, an early statement. They go for it on fourth and goal and wind up punching it in. And that wasn't on the one-yard line either. It wasn't just quarterback sneak range. They had to work for that one, but they certainly got the job done. Elliott good with a PAT, and it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will be returned from deep in the end zone. 
And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. First down, Prescott. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. Called that a very strong gain of 24. Those are the kinds of plays right there that show you why he's the number three man of the NFL in terms of receiving yards. Also tells you there's a full combination of what he's got going in his game. You name it from route running to catching the football. That's why he's able to produce those types of numbers. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Here's Prescott. He finds Watson. It's caught. Strike back quickly with an opening touchdown of their own. Point after, right down the middle. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And they are a game under 500 now following the loss a week ago. And this is a team, Charles, that just has not been able to string victories together. Yeah, they certainly go the wrong way, aren't they? Because it looked like they had things pointing in the right direction but now they've lost two straight, and that means this game is vital. Extremely important because if they fall two games below 500, the road back into playoff contention, awfully difficult. The big play has them all the way out near midfield for a first and 10. as they run the counter play. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield stripe. You talk about this Rams defense. And they were terrific a week ago in that victory over Tampa Bay, Charles. This defense has a lot to be proud of coming off of the game they played last week. When you only give up 14 points in a game, not only do you give your team a chance to win, you fully expect to win because you figure your offense is going to score more than that. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's second and six. And yeah, they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. It's a gain of 11 and a Cardinal first down. How about his performance last week? Over 200 yards. I think his decisiveness. One cut and he goes. That's what's really made him pile up the yardage. And the yardage he piled up last week. Easily honored with NFC Offensive Player of the Week. I would have voted for him. Now here's a throw that's complete. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. I know this may be jumping the gun a little bit, but 7-7, seven to seven, they're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get advantage that way. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. And he's brought down, but he has it down to the 12 on a pickup of 12, first and 10. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. 
44 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Last week we saw a rarity. He was over 200 yards on the ground and they lost. So we'll see if they can get more carries like that and win this week. And that was interesting watching the game tape, wasn't it? Because it was hard to register that we watched him pile up that yardage and create those nice runs that they didn't win the football game. But that doesn't mean changing what you do. Continue to feed him the football. These two teams all tied after one. Cardinal football here to start quarter number two. As they come up now, second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. Third and goal. This L.A. Rams defense will try to bow up once more. second touchdown here in this first half and the Cardinals have taken the lead so his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time and definitely good blocking at the point of attack and you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line and he's able to take it into the end zone Elliott good on the extra point and that makes the score 14 to 7 Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Los Angeles offense set to begin their next drive. And they are trying to create some separation within the division. And look, CD, I know that this is still the first half of the season, but this is a big matchup no matter where it falls because these are the top two teams right now in that division. And if you can build a bit of a cushion as you head towards the second part of the season, that allows you to survive the expected injuries, potential upset losses, all of those things, and still be in good shape. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Prescott now. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. That third down conversion, good for 23. And he's turning in a nice performance. Remember, he had the touchdown earlier, and this time he's able to beat double coverage to grab it. I think that if he weren't worried about a taunting penalty, he'd run by the opposing team's bench and say, guys, two is not going to be enough. You better get some more guys trying to cover me. He knows how to get open downfield. Prescott looks to throw on first. Oh, that's in a double coverage and intercepted. Picked off by Patrick Queen. And he'll get it all the way down inside the 35-yard line. He's on quite the interception run. He had two last week, another one here. Remember, he's not a DB, he's a linebacker. But how many of those linebackers started as DBs and pumped themselves up into being linebackers? So the ball skills are the same, right? The coverage skills and responsibilities are the same, and he is paying it off. Touchdown, Cardinals! A great effort there. On his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Cardinals are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add in. And, oh, it's blocked. And the Rams have got it. But he doesn't get far. They're able to stop him. And after all that, the extra point attempt unsuccessful. I remember when they changed the rule 
And there's a lot of consternation, especially coming from the kickers. Okay, how is this going to affect things, having to kick a longer one now? Much more of a field goal attempt. And the defensive guys saw it as an opportunity to get more blocked. That's exactly right. There's more effort now. Before, when it was stepped down near the goal line, you would basically see guys just stand there. Yeah, not anymore. Now, those guys are going after it because not only can they knock it away and change a little bit of momentum, they can, get two points. They can pick it up and take it back for two points. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. So, Charles, you look at this offense, so what a start to the season. Five wins without a loss. When do you think that you start believing that maybe you're in the midst of something special? Well, you and I both know every head coach never wants that thought to creep into a locker room. But the truth of the matter is, not quite at this time, because if we look at the Steelers in 2020, they're a great example. Remember, they started 11-0, then lost 5 of 6. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Buda Baker with a pick, and he's just across midfield and down at the 49-yard line. But those have been a problem for him all season, but never quite as much as they have in these last few minutes. Let's count it up now. A pair of picks on his team's last two drives and double-digit interceptions this season. I don't care if you're the best in the game or an undrafted rookie. You've got to take better care of the football or you're going to cost your team chances. And now a throw in first down there, but it's incomplete. That was nice work there defensively to force the incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. On third down, Wooten. Ah, uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. I feel like you and I could be in our backyard with our dads right now. What did they always say when they were throwing us a ball? Look it all the way in. Make sure you secure it. That had the feeling of not happening there on that play, that he didn't have full control of the ball. When that punt's coming in, I'm going to return punts, but I would imagine it's tough to monitor those guys coming full steam ahead. Of it really is. You try and get that peak to know where they are about whether you should fair catch it or not, but sometimes you just have to have a, a sense, a feeling, and just have to make sure, number one, though, you catch the ball and put it away. To throw on second down. Wooten, this ball tipped, and it's going to be incomplete. Fortunate maybe to get that back. It's third down. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And a short pick up there down to about the nine. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Defense.
defensively. Pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after them. Put the pressure on them. Looking to throw on second down. Wooten. This will be caught at about the six. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. And they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can. But this is third and goal. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. three-yard line again. They'll try and punch it in here on third and goal. Looking to throw. Wooten. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. So they opted to pass for it on third and goal. Let's see what they do on fourth and goal. Well, I think they threw it with the idea that if they didn't get it, they would go for it on fourth and goal. So they've got another play in their pocket. They're going to have to call it right now. No field goal here. The kick by Elliott is good. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. The Los Angeles offense set to begin their next drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together. And say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays. Oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Now Prescott. That'll be caught. It's caught. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. That one good for 26 and a first down. When you're struggling on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half, but I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They were starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise, and start to put together some drives. Prescott on first down. Throw caught there by Willis. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route. Just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. On first and 10, Prescott. Able to find Willis. And he'll be out of bounds. Give him 30 yards there. Ah, so often when we're watching a football game, we see one with a lot of ebbs and flows, and this one is no different. And sometimes you just need a big play to wake you up a bit. And they get one right there, that shot of caffeine this offense was looking for. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. 
with his sixth rushing touchdown on the year, 10th overall. And the Rams are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Extra point splits the uprights, and that trims the lead down to nine. The Rams kickoff team on the field, and here we go with the ball in the air. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end. Now a hit and a loose football. Oh, and one of the linebackers has got it. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. So a turnover there on the kickoff. And don't look now, but that just made things a little more interesting. Very interesting because when you're trailing in a game, these are the mistakes that you're brave for. You just went down and scored. Now you get the football right back with another great opportunity. A first down throw for Prescott. His throw incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Second and ten. Hey, 47. Play fake. Here's Prescott. And this is going to be caught. No, they say it's incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it up. Yeah, I believe they buzz down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. Now the try here for the extra point. And the lead is down to two. The Rams kickoff team on the field, and here we go with the ball in the air. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone, and he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision, loses him about four yards. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And still plenty of time remaining here in the half, more than a minute. And we'll see if they just want to protect that lead or try to add on to it. Well, with as much time as is left on the clock, I would imagine it would be the latter. I think they're going to try and add on to it. So what they're going to tell the team is very simply, if you can get out of bounds after making a play downfield, terrific. If you can't, everyone hustle to the line of scrimmage, either run another play or clock it and start over again. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. Down the right sideline. Touchdown, Cardinals. Hollywood, Marquise Brown, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Cardinals are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, <laughs> but offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And would you believe it? This is caught in the end zone. And the fake extra point works to extend their lead by two. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. The Los Angeles offense set to begin their next drive. 
And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice the two. And Prescott, his third interception. Jalen Thompson picks it. And the Cardinals will take over here just shy of the 30. But with the points that we've seen scored, neither defense has been at their best, but these guys have been a little bit better, Charles, and a nice interception there. Yeah, you're right about that, Brandon. Let's face it. It's not always how you start, it's how you finish, right? So maybe you have a rough game all the way along, but if you make a big play like that at the right time, it can make everything turn out. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. And he will return this one to the 30-yard line. And the rookie QB gets his first touchdown pass. That's one you put in the trophy case. First <laughs> career interception. That's going to be one he wants to forget. Yeah, and he's not going to go ask for the football, right? Yeah, you can keep that one. The key for him, what does he learn from it? When he watches the tape, does he have an answer right now where he already understands what mistake he made? That's what the coaches are going to want to know, and that's what they'll grill him on and see how he grows from it. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. So from the 22, here's second and two. Prescott to throw it. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. To throw is Prescott. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. Touchdown, Rams. A great play there with touchdown number two in the game and now 11 on the year. And the Rams get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead is down to a field goal. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead, but a mistake there. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked off by Deshaun Elliott. And he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. I believe this is what you would call growing pains here, partner, because this defense obviously took the challenge facing the rookie, and they wanted to help indoctrinate him to the NFL. So now the big question is, can he answer that challenge and rebound with plenty of time remaining in this game? stages of this first half. Point after, right down the middle. And that will make this a four-point game. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And the ball backed way up, so thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds 
up falling incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. The play fake. Wooten. This is taken in by McBride. And he's going to be out up around the 45 yard line. Well, there's no disputing. He's made some poor throws in this first half, but this was a good one. And you can bet this is an offense that isn't going to pull back. They believe in what he can do. So all you can do is look forward and they pick up a first down. The final shot before break. Wooten. He's going to take a shot at the end zone. Why not? And it's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Elliott now to kick this one away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee and they'll take over at the 25. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all. There he goes, left side. Inside the 20. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. A big play there. 75 yards. And the Rams come right out of the locker room score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Extra point splits the uprights and that pushes the lead up to 11. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. They make their second half debut here. Things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles, that touchdown drive on the other side. So now it's a two-score game here. Got to be careful. They certainly do, and I'm just wondering at halftime if those guys just looked into each other's eyes and realized what they've got to get done and come out a little bit more charged up because if they don't get some kind of points here, that next drive, that could make this a three-possession game. From the 25, here's second and six. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. 68 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Off play action. Wooten. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Now, with a rookie quarterback out there, you definitely got to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. 
five yards. Now it's third and five. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. From the gun on third down, Wooten. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. Here's J.K. Scott now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Pretty good punt, but a nice 13-yard return. And the Rams will go on offense here for the first and 10. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last time that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. A yard all they need, but it's third down. 46, 46. 46. Looking to throw, Prescott. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Wooten. A pass complete to Moore. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. Throwing on first down. Wooten. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. John Johnson with the INT. And the Rams are going to take over at their own 28-yard line. Certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ballgame. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. And hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way who threw a lot of interceptions early, learned from them, and became great later? Who would that be? That'd be one Peyton Manning through 28 his rookie year. That's the NFL record. How things turn out for him? I think okay. He's a guy in all the commercials now, right? <laughs> yeah, I yeah. think he's doing okay. On second down now, it's Willis. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Play action now, Prescott. He's got his run back out of the backfield. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Give him six yards in the first down. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. Still going inside the 20. So they hit pay dirt, but don't count it yet. There's laundry on the field. We'll see what the penalty flag is about. Brutal, so take away the long touchdown. It's a cruel game sometimes, partner. Prescott on play action. So the left side, it's complete. And the Rams are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken 
no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there, and now they're looking at a first and goal. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Taking it in from four yards out as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Extra point right down the middle, and the lead is up to 18 now. The Rams kickoff team on the field, and here we go with the ball in the air. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. That's caught inside the 20. A huge play there for Arizona. 69 yards. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. And a big loss here as he's taken down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sand. But you just knew that these rushers were eager to do that today. Put him on the ground. Their plan, introduce themselves individually to this rookie quarterback. They set a load a big way there with a loss of double-digit yards on that sack. After the sack, oh, they're staring at a challenge basically from the other side of town. It's second and a country mile. Back to throw. Wooten. And this is going to be intercepted. And the Rams are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Boy, Charles, you hate to see this for a rookie quarterback. You're hoping it doesn't shake his confidence, but that confidence, it might be shaken because that is four interceptions for him now in this ballgame. It has to be shaken. Wouldn't be human if you weren't. Doesn't matter whether you're a rookie or a veteran. Four interceptions? You're not sure what you're doing out there. So to me as a coaching staff, I would think very hard about getting him out and trying it again another day. Looks like he's going to get a couple here on this first down carry, and that'll make it second and eight. From the 22, here's second and eight. On play action, Prescott. And that's brought in by Knight. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been wrapped up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defenses have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. Off the play fake, Prescott. Flushed out right. Open man right side is cut, complete. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. And they'll send Cup in motion right. Here's Prescott. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Here's Prescott. He finds his man complete. It's Willis. Touchdown! Dak Prescott now four touchdown passes on the afternoon. And the Rams add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Point after, right down the middle. And they open the lead up now to 25. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Oh, 
Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And they unfortunately are staring at a mini losing streak developing, trailing here in the fourth quarter. This would be their third straight defeat. It looks like a 12-yard loss there on the first down sack. Well, this certainly feels like complimentary football to me, partner, because the momentum from the team's touchdown drive looks like it's made its way over to the defense. They're working together in tandem now. Offense gets in the end zone. Defense with a big sack on the first play of the following drive. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll be a third and about 13. Looking to throw, Wooten. He's got his target, that's complete. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he's across the 43, extra yards to the 43. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Nice satisfying run up first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you no matter what, you keep throwing the football with confidence. Well, we're not seeing a confident thrower right now. He's off balance, the passing game's off balance, and the defense is taking advantage. And they'll run on the inside handoff. 84 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. And they're going to speed things up here. To throw on second down. Wooten out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 32-yard line. Give him 10 yards on that one, and that earns him a fresh set of downs. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Back to throw, Wooten. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Here's second and 10. Throwing again, Wooten. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Powering in to drop it was John Ridgeway. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Here is third and quite a ways. Off the play fake. Wooten. Wide open is Watkins. He's got him. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams 19. Now they got to get to the line quickly. 19, Tiger. 19, Tiger. On first and 10. Wooten. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. This has obviously been a bad loss, but one of the few things they can still do is try to throw the ball all the way to the end zone and get some points on the board so they're not shut out over the final two quarters of this game. And second and 10, he'll look to throw again. And a big loss here as he's taken down. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Now 
on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's going deep for Brown. He's got his man. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Marquise Brown with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cardinals get a bit closer. Elliott good with a PAT. And that'll cut the lead down to 18. So it would no doubt be a miracle comeback from here, but let's see what they can do starting with the onside kick. And the Rams have got him. And that should just about seal this one. Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. Can't fault them for the effort at least. No, you can't at all. And if nothing else, now you've put something that you're trying to practice, right, that you, you've worked on into a game situation, and now you can go back and dissect it. So if you need it again sometime, maybe you'll find a better way to do it. But, yeah, this game's pretty much done for them. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. They're still throwing the football here, and obviously the incompletion stops the clock. That's a bad thing. Feels to me like they're just keeping them honest on defense because you know they're going to stack the line of scrimmage to try and stop any type of a running play. Short little passes may work in exchange of running plays. Keep the clock moving, keep them moving. Yeah, I guess you're right. If they can get some first downs, just as good as running the football. Throwing here, Prescott. And oh my goodness, here's a fifth interception. Look at the juke. I think you and I were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw his second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? It's beyond stunning to me because we're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less experience or less talent. But a quarterback of his caliber? I can't believe what we've just seen. Absolutely. If you would have told me this coming into the ball game, I would have said never, not in a million years, but here we go. Throwing to start the drive. Wooten. He'll find more on the comeback route. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Looking to throw. Wooten. Touchdown, Cardinals! A 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Cardinals have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Elliott now to add the extra point. And that one makes this an 11-point deficit now. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. So time definitely not in their favor. Down two scores, but they'll try the onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. Now the card's going to call another timeout, their second. That'll be their second, so one more chance to stop the clock here. And we'll be back. Oh, Prescott here to throw. Pressure comes, and the Cardinals bring him down. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the ball game. The cards going nickel, an extra defensive back out there now on third down. Now Prescott. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. That's caught inside the 20. And one of the whistles for a timeout. 
So they'll stop the clock here in a game that's been decided in the closing seconds. That's evidence of why you spend a high draft pick on a receiver, isn't it, Charles? It certainly is. His ability to make plays like that, and we've seen flashes of it from him so far in his rookie season. But also, it opens things up for the rest of the offense because they have to bring their attention to him as well. Touchdown, Rams! A 16-yard touchdown. And the Rams have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Another touchdown here in the fourth quarter. And, Charles, I think we can start to consider that this undefeated streak of theirs is going to be safe for another week. And, partner, you don't make it this far into a season without a loss unless you're getting contributions from both sides of the ball and sometimes even your special teams. And that's been true today. Each side helping guide them to this late lead.